The Preston Plays Scary Myth add-on in the Minecraft Marketplace appears to be a blatant scam. Honestly, what is far scarier than the add-on itself is the fact that Microsoft or Mojang allowed it to be released onto the Marketplace. The add-on, to my knowledge, does not work in survival mode at all, and the mobs do little to nothing except slowly move towards the player. It's bad, and in my opinion, a hundred times worse than the Jet Starfish mod situation. But I specifically want to talk about the similarities between the two situations today and why it's significant, so let's get into this. Now, I'd like to clarify, I have not bought the add-on myself, I did not waste my money on it. It's around $5 in the Minecraft Marketplace. So most of my knowledge regarding the mod's gameplay is coming from Echo Soldier's video on it. He made a pretty good video covering just how bad the add-on is, and I recommend watching it. So, yeah, the add-on basically doesn't work, and even if you go into creative mode to use it, it basically does nothing. Some entities without any animation whatsoever will pop up from a table and slowly walk towards you. That's about it. Now, the author of this add-on is actually listed as Fire Games, but it is very much so promoted and advertised with Press and Play's name. Of course, to get children to go, oh, hey, I know that guy, and buy the add-on. So, first, quickly, yes, this actually got released onto the marketplace, which is kind of embarrassing for Microsoft, honestly. Even more embarrassing for Preston Plays himself. This speaks some lengths to the quality checking of the Minecraft Marketplace content. Clearly, Mojang or Microsoft didn't look through this thoroughly at all, showing that you can really just put out pretty much anything on the Minecraft Marketplace and put any price tag on it. I do apologize for being so harsh in this video, but I mean, there's no other way to put this. This is just bad. It's very clearly a cash grab. But now let's compare this to the Jet Starfish mod for a moment. So, I think the Scary Myth add-on is a hundred times worse than Jet's Exploration mod. I mean, with the Exploration mod, there was clearly some thought and effort put into it. There were actual good improvements made in some cases. It was all around a pretty good mod. And it did a decent job of doing what it was meant to, improving exploration in some ways. But this add-on... I cannot say the same. I mean, if it was meant to just make a bunch of money with minimal effort, then sure it accomplished its purpose, I guess. But I can't even really say with certainty if it works as intended. And what's especially bad about this is that with the Jet Starfish Exploration mod, we knew that was only early access for the Patreon. We knew it would eventually be free. But with this being a marketplace add-on, it is likely going to always cost money. So, to summarize, the Jet Starfish mod was a pretty good mod that worked well, at least, and made some great improvements to the game. And it is also now free, by the way. Meanwhile, the Preston Plays Scary Myth add-on seemingly doesn't even work as it's supposed to, doesn't make for any kind of better or more interesting gameplay, and is also likely going to always cost money. Laying all of that out, I don't think I really need to say which one is worse here. So really, why I'm covering this in the first place is because, mark my words, Preston Place is not going to get nearly as much backlash or hate as Jess Starfish did. Now, as of to why, that's a question that I would like to leave you guys, the viewers, with. Perhaps it was total chance a certain sequence of events with the Hayes' video, just the right timing in the algorithm, maybe some bias, but I would like to hear your guys' thoughts on why this might be. Especially given the fact that, again, this was covered by Echo Soldier, who has over a million subscribers, but as of right now, his video only has about 20,000 views while I'm recording this, and Hayes' of course had hundreds of thousands. Perhaps it's just a matter of who has what information and what misinformation that could lead to this difference in backlash. I can certainly speculate, but I really can't tell you with absolute certainty. But I think that's where I'm going to leave this for today, because this is just supposed to be 
a short video so that I can focus more on my next project, the improving exploration or adventure video. I think I've cooked up some pretty interesting things for that one. And also my cat is blocking my screen now. So, so I hope to see you in that exploration video and goodbye.